Paul is dead. He died in 1987 during the Ronald Reagan administration, and I can actually prove this mathematically and scientifically. So if you disagree with me, you disagree with real, real life. life. Evidence 1. Abbey Road Album Cover If you look closely at the album cover for Abbey Road, you can actually find that Paul isn't wearing any shoes. And if you're a history buff like myself, you would know that people who do not wear shoes in public gets a special ride in Pinochet's helicopter because they are unintentionally enabling pedophilia. Evidence 2. Walrus Song In the Beatles' iconic walrus song, they are constantly alluding to this mysterious walrus-like figure. But in another Beatles song, Glass Onion, John actually confirms that the walrus is Paul. But if you're a radical free thinker who's immune to all forms of propaganda, you would know that walruses actually went extinct in 1952 due to the globalist hegemony turning them all into pills and other nutraceuticals. Meaning, if the walrus was Paul and the walruses are gone, Paul must be extinct because the walrus is Paul. Evidence 3. Revolution 9. If you play Revolution 9 in reverse, you can hear that the song is actually Buddy Holly by Weezer. Evidence 4. A baby picture. This image is kind of weird. It's just a little bit strange. What are the Beatles doing with those baby dolls? Evidence 5. And with that, I conclude my findings. If you have any questions about my thought process surrounding this, please email me at freefeetpix12 at gmail.com and I will send you my figures.